Today, we're going to take a look at how to self-host N8N in the cloud and the easiest way I have found to do this. Um, the reason why you would want to self-host N8N is most of all the cost. Maybe you, you also have some privacy issues um, that you need to have it all uh, localized or in control of. For my sake, it is actually not the sometimes the workflow executions, but mostly the active workflows where 15 is not enough for most of my projects. So I would need to go up to a pro plan, and then it starts to get a bit expensive um, depending on what you're doing, of course. We can uh, reduce this to uh, around 15 USD per month for unlimited active workflows and unlimited executions. Please note that you must uh, keep you couldn't resell this uh, as a service this is for internal use the service that i'm using is elestio or elest.io which is a fully managed web service platform so we can easily deploy an in on these servers <clears throat> and the price is very competitive especially given how much you're actually getting um, they're based in Europe, which is why their European servers are the cheapest. They build all the hardware themselves. So you can see that Hetzner uh, services here are very, very cheap with Elestio, or it's actually not uh, Elest.io that builds the Hetzner server. It was the Hetzner uh, company that has these cheap servers. Sorry for that. Anyways, you get... Uh, dual Xeon CPUs, four gigabytes RAM, 40 uh, gigabytes of storage, and you actually get 20 terabytes of, um, um, what's it called? It's called data transfer. And you can see you can get it all the way down to 11, but then it's only one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, and less storage. So you can take a look at their pricing here on the pricing page. And we're just going to go through a deployment of N8N, and I'll show you some neat features that we have here. It is a, a credit-based payment system, so you only pay per hour of services used, which is pretty neat. The thing to note here is that once you sign up for an uh, elest.io account, you will need to get approved. So I'll just highlight here that you will be given a support ticket and you are, your account will be reviewed manually. So if you do this in the weekend, it won't happen until Monday because they work within business hours. Just as a note, you cannot deploy stuff on a list IO uh, before getting approved. So you might have to wait a day, maybe a couple of days if you sign up in the weekend. But once you get approved, it is super simple. You just go to your project here, you deploy your first service, you search for N8N, you select this, and you select your service cloud provider. A note here that you cannot, you can clone your project between service providers, but that will require to clone the project and then uh, redo the uh, some of the C name if you have uh, integrations done there. So just a note that it is harder to switch between service providers, but it's super easy to scale up under the same service provider. And you can see that higher plans are locked and that is to protect their company. So if you want higher plans with eight CPUs and so forth, you will need to contact support and that will get unlocked. You can of course switch between different uh, CPUs, but I really want to highlight that this Hetzner plan here with dual Xeon CPUs, 4 gigabyte RAM, 4 gigabyte storage, and 20 terabytes of bandwidth is an extremely good deal for around 15 USD per month. So let's just go ahead and take this one, go next, and we'll just call this in test. Um, we'll leave this as is, advanced here. This is an now we'll come to a point where people say you need to fork your N8N GitHub repository because uh, or else you'll run into constant updates on um, when N8N is updated. 
this is all handled within Alestio because you have here software updates and system updates. You can turn them off or as I, I always use just a standard setting where it updates uh, in the middle of the night on a Sunday. So every week, my instance of NADN will be updated and that's all handled. So you don't need to fork anything and do anything manual. Then we have support levels uh, to start with. I always take level one. You can then upgrade if you need more support and more backups if you start to scale uh, a service. So you just click create service and then it says we're deploying your service. And that's pretty much it. Much it. Um, but to take it a step further, you will be given a um, Elestio uh, URL, of course, but you might want to go ahead and have a custom URL for this. So I would like to have, I have this domain hct.gg and I would like to have my N8N instance running on n8n.hct.gg. So let's set that up. I'll just pause the video while this service is starting up. And there we go. The service is now running. We can now click on our service here. And from here, we can go in and open this up. Your N8N instance will be running on this URL. And the first time you open this URL, you will be prompted to set up your um, owner account. So I'll just do dev at scale by tech.com Hans Thyssen password something and click next. Okay. Had to be more than that. Nope, don't save. And we have to fill this out. There we go. And you can send this um, license key to your email and you'll get some more advantages um, by having a registered license key. I'll just skip this for this one. And we now have an operational N8N instance. Just move it here, where we can create workflows and you'll be given a, let's say we want to trigger something from a webhook. You now have your own URL to send this to. So everything's working here. And you can even go here and invite go to settings and users and start inviting people from your team to work on automations uh, on this N8N instance. And if you only want this for simple projects and you don't need something fancy, this is it. Like it took under 10 minutes to set this up. And as you can see on your um, instance here, we set the updates to be, um, you can see uh, OS auto update and so forth, software updates. Um, you can set this when you want the software to update. So it runs uninterrupted um, within weekdays. And again, you can set, for example, protection, um, termination protection, protection here, which means that the service will can't be turned off from a terminal and so forth. Pretty smart. But let's see if we can do this on a custom domain now. So I'll just close here and First thing to add a custom domain, go to custom domain names, go here, and we will add n8n.hct.gg, press enter. This will create the SSL certificate um, running behind this, so it's safe and secure. Then we need to add a C name on n8n and point it to this instance here. There we go. So I'll just go to my Cloudflare account and add a record, add a C name, and we want to do N8N. We will do it over there, no proxy. Click save. Now this should be pointing to our N8N instance, but we need one more update because if we go here now and go to n8n.hct.gg, we will probably be redirected. Ht.gg. If I go here, it will probably redirect me to the um, other instance. Sorry for that. Just close this one. So we'll be redirected over here. And also our in-app URLs will still be pointing to this uh, domain here. So you can see, let me see if I can dev 
skip a tick and we will do okay that seemed to work maybe let's go in and see the webhook still not there let me take a new one just to be sure because i'm pretty sure we need to update something on the back end in the terminal web trigger yeah so you can see your webhooks aren't pointing correctly so we can log in on n8n.hc.gg but our backend doesn't see this as our root domain or as our n8n domain so all webhooks will be this webhook url if you want to update that you must go to the let's just leave here to the terminal so go to tools go to terminal and copy this url go here that is root and we copy the password and paste that in never so this is our terminal and i did a bit of digging and what you need to do is you need to enter this nano space that's opt app dot environment or env you need to paste this in and right click here click on paste click enter we are now in and the environment uh, file of this n8n instance and what we need to change is the domain here so we need to change this domain to n8n.hct.gg then we exit control x and click y for yes we want to save modified buffer and click enter and this should update your environment um, file for this n8n instance what we then need to do is go over to overview and we need to reset restart our software so this one software restart go restart app stack and it will run here did little it and it has now reset the service let's go back in to n8n.hct.gg whoops there we go and let me delete this workflow start from scratch open up a new webhook trigger webhook and as you can see now our url has changed to https n8n.hct.gg this just makes it look more professional the functionality doesn't change but um, i still do this because i like to have it look custom so anyways under 15 minutes deployed in it in and set up custom domains i think that is a win for everybody so um, until next time have a great day and see you in the next video bye